Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Firstly, welcome to the Royal Albert Hall and this afternoon's graduation ceremony. My name is Nick Holmes, I'm the events manager for graduation. So it's uh, my responsibility if you have a fantastic day uh, and also my responsibility if you don't have a great day. Um, now I'm a bit of a boring warm up act, so in a few moments time the ceremony is going to start. I'm going to ask you to all politely stand. Um, but I just have a few pieces of information for you all just before we start. Now, first of all, some of the information for our graduates. Um, you would have all been to ticket collection this morning uh, and this afternoon to collect your tickets in the envelope. Now, you've all been given a specific seat number to sit in. Can I please ask you just to take a few seconds just to check to make sure you're sat in the right seat at this time. You're not sat next to a friend. You're actually sat in the right order that we need you to be sat in. Fantastic. That's what I like to see people moving around. Thank you, madam. You're very honest. Okay, so you're all sat in the right seat. Now, if you have easy access to a card like this, which was in your envelope, can I please ask, this, ask you to bring this up to the stage with you? In a couple of minutes to after the ceremony starts, you'll be asked to start forming procession at the foot of the stage there. And there will be a number of the registry team who will be checking your name. Then we're going to do it a couple of times, but please bear with us because we want to make sure we get your name in the right order. And then you'll be asked to process across the stage. The President, Provost, or the Chair of Council, congratulate on your award. You'll be asked to take the steps down at the end of the ceremony street and do then a procession around the hall back to the seat you sat in. Very, very easy. Now remember, if you don't do this properly, you don't get your original award at the end of the ceremony. Um, we do ask this for a couple of housekeeping pieces of arrangement as well. There is no fire alarm that's scheduled. Um, we do ask people if, other than a student, when you're processing, for everyone to please remain in their seats during the ceremony. If you could please keep photography to a minimum, because obviously when you're trying to capture that special moment of someone crossing the stage, you could be taking that away from someone else. So please bear with us for that one. Um, and again, and above all, we just wish you all have a wonderful day of celebration. And if I could now ask you to please stand for the procession.
Welcome. President, friends, family, honoured guests and soon to be graduates of Imperial College London, it's my pleasure as President of the Union to welcome you to Commemoration Day 2019. It's a bit of a cliche, but it does really feel like only yesterday we were all starting our degrees, and I think it goes to show how much time flies when you're really under pressure. Today, we're here in recognition not only of the outstanding academic achievement of, of those before you, but also of all the achievements that we enjoy outside of the classroom. There's sport, excellence in art, music, the commitment to and willingness to involve ourselves in volunteering activities, our diversity of culture at Imperial, and the diversity of ideas that we enjoy at a, a, well, a diverse uh, institution. We have a consistent commitment to excellence and making the world a better place. And as graduates, we have a huge potential to contribute to wider society. And that comes with a burden of expectation. And there's going to be a, a lot of inspiration and a lot of apprehension as we move on to the wider world. Today, it's important to reflect on those who came before us, the shoulders of giants on, on which we stand. And I want to start by, by talking about uh, this place, the Albertopolis, where Prince Albert, from the proceeds of the Great Exhibition of 1851, funded many of the institutions that exist across South Kensington today. Uh, he created uh, a, a place with a multifaceted community across science and art which today boasts new, new drugs for the treatment of cancer, the Mars rover, probes that visit other planets, and we've even had involvement in, in inquiries in, in the local area. We also recall the visit of then King George and Queen Elizabeth in 1945 at the 100th anniversary of what was then the Royal College of Science. And while I'm not always one for quoting royals, I think uh, something he said there was very important. Regard your knowledge and your skill in the light of a trust for the benefit of humanity, and thereby ensure, so far as in you lies, that science may never be put to purposes which offend the higher conscience of mankind. It's with this in mind that I want us all to move forward. We stand on the shoulders of giants now, just as in the future, our shoulders will be those on which other people stand. We want to make change in the world, bring in new ideas, new knowledge, but always for the betterment of mankind as a whole. Congratulations, and the very best of luck to all of you. Members of court and council, colleagues, distinguished honorees, graduates, family and friends, it is my honor as president of Imperial College London to welcome you to Commemoration Day 2019. Graduates, congratulations. We are here to celebrate your accomplishments. We applaud your many talents, and we wish you well in all that awaits you. You have worked hard at your studies, and you have excelled. You have also excelled outside the lecture halls and laboratories. You are scholars as well as practitioners. You are talented inventors, entrepreneurs, musicians, dancers, actors, singers, and athletes, and you are volunteers who gave your precious time to help others. It is important to recognize those whose support was essential during your time at Imperial. Your family and friends are always there when you need them. They share in your triumphs, and they bring additional joy to today's celebration. So let's give them our thanks. The academics sitting behind me and many others have shared their knowledge, sparked your curiosity, and broadened your horizons. They are dedicated researchers and educators, the best in their fields. They have challenged and inspired you. They have shown you the importance of having high standards for everything that you do. Let's also thank them. Graduates, you are accomplished scholars, engineers, innovators. The world needs people with your intelligence, your passion, and your commitment to learning. You will contribute greatly to society. I hope that among the many things you will remember about Imperial 
you will look back on the valuable experiences you had working with, listening to, learning from, and spending time with others. Whether it was students in your course, or friends from societies or residences, or staff who you got to know. Sharing ideas and building lasting relationships will be valuable lifelong assets. I hope that as you leave Imperial with I hope that you leave Imperial with a distinct sense of the value of community. Imperial College London is an important community and it will always be part of who you are. I like something I recently heard in France about cafe culture and encyclopedias. For both, you enter with the purpose and you lose yourself to other things. We have all enjoyed the opportunity to lose ourselves in unexpected conversations. We lose track of the time and learn and understand a great deal. We may also have stumbled upon a new book while browsing in the bookstore or library. Some of us are old enough to remember hefting encyclopedias to a table to search for something, only to find other entries that enthralled us. Now, perhaps too often, the cafe is just a place to get a takeaway coffee or to sit with your laptop and work alone, and the encyclopedia is supplanted by the internet search. You can still lose yourself in a trail of discovery. However, you may not have that same experience of chance findings. Serendipity has, perhaps, become too algorithmic. Too often today, when we sit together over a meal or coffee, we are distracted by our phones. On the one hand, they provide instantaneous access to so much information. It is incredible that in a moment's notice, you can know the answer to the question, who led the uprising against occupying Romans in 60 AD, Boudica? Or how long will it take the JUICE mission to get to Jupiter, seven and a half years? Our conversations are enriched by such information. We can know a lot. On the other hand, phones sometimes divert our attention from the people around us. To move from information to understanding, we need to look up from our phones and get to know each other. We need to recapture our sense of community. There is much that divides the world today. We need people like you to take time to listen to and better understand one another if we are to mend these divides. I hope that as you leave this wonderful university, with friends, mentors, and learning around every corner, you will take your experience and your wisdom into many new relationships and new communities. In doing so, you will help make the world a better place. Thank you. President and Chair, I beg leave to present those who have received awards within the Faculty of Engineering. The names will be announced by Professor Anthony Bull, Head of the Department of Bioengineering, Professor Omar Mata, Vice Dean Education, Faculty of Engineering, and Dr. Lorraine Craig, Associate Dean for Learning and Teaching, Faculty of Engineering. Due to the large number of graduates being presented today, may I ask the audience to reserve your applause to prize winners and to the end of the group. Thank you. Faculty of Engineering, Associates of the City and Guilds of London Institute and First Degrees of the University. Masters of Engineering, Department of Aeronautics. The Aeronautics Resilience Award, Ayanli Adan. Tudor Mihai Agape Komsa, Abdul Halim, Dylan Royan Almeida, Lucas Altenberg, Alexander Amato, 
Achilles Umet, Diego Alessandro Bardivale, Gidiano Nicolai Brasili, Matthew Benyon. The Airbus Prize for MN Aeronautics Final Year Project, Marina Khadija Binti Wiley. Xin Yi. Bo Li Chao. Ji Wen Chen. Hoi Ching Chu. Ryan Clark. Romain Clement de Givry. Ignacy Cortes Abues. Kieran Downey. Clayton Nukizo Dube. Alvaro Echevari Fernandez. Gunalan Edwin Cristo. Lucas Engelbert. Erhai Fang. Fu Shi Yong Dennis. The Project Merit Prize, Fari Gaba. George Garcia Fontaine. The Project Merit Prize, Jerome Garnier Brun. Loris Charles Joseph Kleiner. Amanda Go. The Airbus Prize for Best Student in MNG Aeronautical Engineering and BAE Systems Prize, Nicholas Gomez Vega. Alexei Grigoris, Han Hao, Patrick Hanlon, Tru Ho, Jacob Holford, Esme Hotston Moore, Roman Katsusik, Sinan Kelenchi, Alexander Kent, the Project Merit Prize, Kirill Raponivic. Quan Tso Wei It, Chia Hung Li, Alexandros Lesses, Lim Tse Jin, Haritha Vinu Lianage Dong, Lu Xiaowei Christopher, Caesar McClary. The Royal Aeronautical Society Prize, Adam Maragovsky, Alexis Milleroux. Joshua Minion, Arno Mortelet, Tong Yi Morris Ong, Benita Nortman, Garasimos Mtukas, Kene Chukwu Obi, Lachlan Orr, Ranul Palimula, Yan Bin Pan, Rachata Piti Songsawat, Thomas Please, Manoj Rajendran, Daniel Ravindran Lara, Rahul Ravichandran, Alejandro Rossello, Peter Rossum, <laughs> Mohammed Shah Rook, Alan Slatter, Hang Song. Head of Department's Award for Overall Contribution, Juliana Tsebian. <laughs> Tan Yu Chen. Sin Kai Tan. Sin Yi Tio. Emma Tierney. Jonathan Tilford. Chong Zi Yuan. Vlad George Tirila. Hugh Turb. Maxim Timchenko, Burke Andreas Ulstadt, George Van Loy Lopez, Antoine Vollard, Thomas Whitehouse. The Airbus Prize for MNG Aeronautics Final Year Project and Governor's Prize, Rhys David Williams. <laughs> Xiao Pin Wong, Kathy Wu, Max Yang. Hoi Ming Yao, Yu Guang Yi Rion, Hubo Zhang. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Aeronautics. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. Bachelor's of Engineering, Department of Bio Bioengineering, Charlotte Brazier. 
Best Year 3 BNG Poster Student Choice Prize, Chong Xing Ching Bryan. <laughs> Geneva Fraser. Best Year 3 BNG Poster Prize, Bioengineering Student Centenary Prize, and Governor's BNG Prize in Bioengineering, Xiao Kai Hong. Aaron Paul. Masters of Engineering, Department of Bioengineering, Laura Abikasis. Callum Alder. Shafa Balaram. Nicholas Barnett Johnston. Sorenza Bastians. William Beardor. Jonah Boda. Deandra Bello de Freitas. Maria Jose Bontasueras. Victor Bourgin. Bioengineering Student Centenary Prize, Bastian Carver. <laughs> Nunu Gaia Pereira. Stuart Chai. Chan Quan Q. Sean Chan. Luis Chavez Rodriguez. David Chen. Ifan Yi Chinweze. Clement Chong Yi Shi Yang. Grace Collins. Governor's MNG Prize in Bioengineering, Alexander Dack. <laughs> Constanza Di Veroni. Elena Drudy. Emma Duncanova. Amy Farrell. Thomas Fernandez Davids. Inesh Ferreira Zamet. Zoe Filasio, Miroslav Gasparek, Timothy Gathman, Javier Reis Chen, Nabiha Gufo, Francesco Guadliardo, Adele Haddad, Hannah Hashem, Leila Howe, Ilaria Incavilia, Kira Iskramuan, Arthur Jorgensen, Keith Kam, Patsimo Quarari, Alex Kitsos, Luca Legator, Man Hin Lao, Ling Li, Lucas Lau, Zhe Rong Lam, Giorgio Malia, Flavian Mania. George Meek. Oxtine Mikalet. Peter Miller. Joshua Mu Jun Ming. Estelle Liz Valentin Nassau. Yi Lung Ng. Martin Nunez de Abreu. Daniele Almeida. Aishwarya Patar. Regina Poe. Joshua Pope, Nila Quast, Alexandra Ravel, Quentin Reno, Piraprong Ritisit, Paul Rovell, Zainab Sachi, Federico Sanna, Patricia Santos Beato, Matthew James Sargent, Elisa Sierra Aguila, Olaf Sikorsky, Marta Souza Sotomeo, Alexis Stosik, Kathy Tang Yuen Q, Franz Alfredo Tapia Chaka, Mitchell Teal, Jia Wei T, Ayesha Tin, Diana Todorita, Jill Wang, Charlotte Van Lanka, Best Year 4 MNG Presentation Prize, Joseph Warren. Karen Wendt. Elizabeth Wheeler. Aaron Michael Wright. Yap Chun Lin. Choi Yao. Yan Zhong. Ludmila Zudina. Myrta Stuhidi. Bachelors of Medicine, Department of Bioengineering, Shoyab Ali. 
Saïd Nazrul Amin, Eri Ong, Abdul Muiz Azri Yahaya, Jared Baskar, Abigail Zhi Zen Chan, Shonok Chatterjee, Lawrence Cox, Samantha Doyle, Akanksha Gupta, Sarah Hajiev, Rosemary Ho, Abdul Karim Ishmael, Mucheng Jiang, Seth Kazi, Erwan Lilanu, Liu Ji Jun Chantel, Simran Longani, Kausalya Mahasivam, Tasneem Mahmoud, Arib Amir Mia. Jack Mitchell, Krishna Munani, Sophie O'Dolan, Marcus Panchal, Nishita Patel, Lukia Petru, Fion Quilty, Sri Aishwarya Rajamurthy, Gautam Sayuna Rayanam, Ta'a Shiwani, Talha Siddiq, Andrew Ting, Diffian Vanya Segaram, Ryan Wong Tuk Wing, Shula Menju, Peng Yao. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Bioengineering. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. Masters of Engineering, Department of Chemical Engineering. Omar Ali Abdullah. Eniola <laughs> Adiogba. Muhammad Al Hijji. <laughs> Delwin Ong. Lawrence Ankers. William Austin. Hassan Hassan. Sungho Bake. Chie Bao. Peter Barty. Surka Begley, Anshul Bongirwa, George Booth, Louis Boyer, James Buckley, Siu Kwong Chung, Siwan Chua, Robert Clark, Emily De Bourne, Eduardo de Medeiros Raposo Ratner. Manoj Drajiwala, Carlos Dickman, Chemical Engineering Student Centenary Prize, Caitlin Doherty, <laughs> Cleveland Nils Moses Douglas, Andrew Duckworth, Alex Durkin, Ken Wheel Prize, Sylvia Favero. Jack Flood, Alistair Fraser, Leonardo Justinian, Weiming Go, Jake Lee Goodway, Tsaun Kosyamemang, Sachin Golati, Yasmin Hack, Anisha Harris, Matthew Hart, Beth Hassan. Jonathan Howe, Shashi Kumar Hazra, Lou Hay, Henry Savisovsky Travel Fellowship, Mizel Tiana Hengadi, <laughs> Stanley Ho, Henry Savisovsky Travel Fellowship, Bafan Krishna Inguva, <laughs> Martina Ivanova, Refti Avinash Joshi, Shell Prize, Harry Prasad Keshavadas. <laughs> Fan Lu Kong. Sangju Lee. Marvin Lee. Chiayin Lim. Sandy Liman. Yu Lo. Pingxin Lu. 
Ashtak Maharaj, Jordan Marshall, Thomas McAuliffe, Richard Metcalf, Sophia Moore, Elisa Morrison, Carissa Nareen, Tuyuan Neo, Dora Ola, the Roger Sargent Prize, Lionel Ong. Wei Xiang Ui, Nicholas Oon, Joel Benjamin Padden, Eleni Papairakleus, Sung Jun Park, Alexandra Patching, the Loveless Book Prize, Roger Percy Lister, <laughs> Baronrut Puranrat Fatanku, Xian Shu. The Katrina Jacks Memorial Prize, Jessica Quigley. <laughs> Raoul Rinken. Nimil Shah. Wembo Shi. Prashant Shivdas. Elise Sway. Hamza Siddiq. Louis Silawi Ahwazi. William Peck Book Prize, Jutong Sun. The Hinchley Medal and the Shell Prize, Jinan Tan. Xiang Shin Tan. Aheli Tarafdar. Zuyan Ti. Jamie Teo. Jack Thane. Connor Thomas, James Toole, Stefan Volmer Firenze, C. U. Wang, Henry Weir, Daniel Y, the Roger Sargent Prize, Colin Wong, <laughs> Governor's Prize, Narumi Wong. Xijin Wong, Soon Wong, George Wright, Su Jiaming, Si Wei Zhu, Messia Yo, John Young, Women Zhang, Bowen Zhang. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Chemical Engineering. Please join me in a round of applause for the graduates. <laughs> Masters of Engineering, Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, Abdul Qawi Abdul, Oguchuku Michael Amadi, Hamza Arabiyat. Marion Artigo, Anam Balbolia, Daniel Bartley, Emma Buley, Radu Nikolai Bidiga, Muhammad Daniel bin Jamaluddin, Alexander Bradshaw, Max Castello, Ryan Sandu Prize awarded to a student who best represented the college. Flora Charbonnier. <laughs> Sim Hoon Chu. Hui Hong Dong. Yvonne Inescu. Asen Filkoff. Chang Yu Fu. Clotilde Girard. Hope Catherine Goodman. Jonathan Green. Harriet Haley. Martin Head, Robin Hendricks, Lisa Sarah Hai, Sinjin Ho, Zhu Yi Ho, Xing Huang, Chong Huo, Alice Jackson, Sharif Karam, Karl Khalif, 
Alicia Xiaowin Law, Waiho Law, Annika Li, Xiaosheng Li, Kasseng Li, Neil Lysa. The Governor's Prize, Ching He Long, <laughs> Ling Feng Li, Nei Sei Tsong Simon, Shi Yong Yu, Joshua Lockery, Ryan Lucas, Ki Mei, Yulia Manoli, Han Yu Meng, Hippolyte Munier Veye. Justin Eng Tian Huat, Richard Li Wei Hua Onsiong, Alejandra Otero, Rohini Patani, Mary Rebecca Pattinson, Adam Blasich, Sebastien Pujalt, Paloma Revuelta Merino, Olivia Ravens, Clement Aubin, Lewis Robinson, Marcus Rodin, Juan Roseo Bover, Elena Saka, Natalie Amy Takeo Shaw, Andres Segris, Xingguan Sik, Harry Slack, Chonghan So, Alexandra Stamenkovich, Angeline Tan, Ruijian T, Ziquan Wei, Lucinda Wilkinson, Sherlin Wong, Wei Jun Wong, Christopher Wood, Linda Wu, Helen Sha, Trehua Zhang, Yuan Xia, Yon Sui, Guang Yang. Yi Xuan Yao, Benling Zheng. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering. Please join me in a round of applause for the graduates. <laughs> Bachelors of Engineering, Department of Computing, the Palantir Forward Group Project Prize, Zishan Amjad. David Buterez, Chuk Ki Fung, the Palantir Forward Group Project Prize, Jack Chorley, the Corporate Partnership Program Award, Julian Chow, Kyle James Condon, Daniel Costa Matos, Benjamin Demont, Miroslav Dimitrov. James Doran, Mark Elama, Xi Xiang, Sartak Kumar, Amar Lakhani, Nicholas Lee, Jason Lipovich, Zikong Ma, Stuart McLoon, Melina Musharoy, the Blockchain.com UG Individual Project Prize and Governor's Prize, Travan Nakishvaran. <laughs> the Governor's Prize and Palantir Forward Group Project Prize, Rohan Padmanabhan. <laughs> Jin, Jin Sun Park, Ashley C. Max Smith, <laughs> Elliot Thomas, Bernard Ting. Jun Feng Xu, Ping Xu Ye, Lan Yi, Andrew Chun Young, Alexander Zaikon, Anka Chiobanu, Chun Chan, B Engine Computing. Masters of Engineering, Department of Computing. Mark Adwal. The Winton Capital Applied Undergraduate Project Computing Prize, Vinamra Agrawal. 
Noon Hai, Batu Akshaba. The Corporate Partnership Programme Award, Thomas Allerton. Sarah Ines Bakker. Alessandro Bonardi. Daniel Bulby. The Corporate Partnership Programme Award, Thomas Bauer. Departmental Prize for Excellence, Andre Brabet. Matthew Brooks. Departmental Prize for Excellence, Yuan Guder. Shiraz Butt. Adrian Katana. Zubair Chowdhury. Wana Roxana Chochaman. Joshua Cooper. Paul Crestes. Departmental Prize for Excellence, Ashley Davis Lyons. The Winton Capital Applied Undergraduate Project Computing Prize, Six de Mopu d'Ablege. Daniel Dean. Callum Eden. The Donald Davies Prize, Ramon Fernandez Mir. The New Voice Media Prize for Computing, Suraj G. Ioannis Gavrilidis. Diraj Sharudai Gitala, Michael Gillen, Emma Kospodinova, Elliot Gunton, Jinsung Ha, Vlad Hadarian, the Donald Davies Prize, Christopher Hawkes, Andrew Hill. Robert Holland, Corporate Partnership Program Award and Governor's Prize, Rio Hu, Andrew Hoom, Alessio Inchitti, Andre Esael, Departmental Prize for Excellence, Rishab Jain, Ria Cha, Sungun Jung. Alexander Khabarov, Tanmay Khanna, Peter Kovary, Paul Larson, Laulap Hang, Miles Lee, Raphael Leong, Ang Lee, Jeremy Ling, Christo Lolov. The Corporate Partnership Programme Award, Christian Matake. <laughs> Kian Main. Matthew McElroy. Rachel Metieva. The Computing Student Centenary Prize, Riku Murai. <laughs> Hanti Nguyen. Arthur Nicolay. Samuel Ogunmola, Vincenzo Pantolfo, the Corporate Partnership Program Award, Aristomenes Dionysios Papadopoulos, the Corporate Partnership Program Award, Andrew Piercy, Harjuno Periro Negorio, Norbert Polzadowski. Fraser Price, Andre Bogdan Puyu, Jaspreet Singh Randawa, Richard Rohatch, Eric Ruan Zhu, Taran Sabinieni, Erkin Saling, the Corporate Partnership Program uh, Award, Sylvia Sapora, <laughs> Priyanka Shah. The Departmental Prize for Excellence, Yisi Shan Chen. The ARM Project Prize, Alberto Spina. Oliver Stembom. Nimesh Swebedi. Sylvester Seike. The IBM Project Prize, Si Wei Tan. 
Rafael Toletti Balestiero, Jason Sai, Dennis Sang, the Departmental Prize for Excellence, Harry Uglo, Marta Stefania Ungoronu, Mihail Vanea, William Woodacre, Maurice Yap, Nikolai Yotov, the Corporate Partnership Program Award, Maurizio Zen, <laughs> Chingri Chang, the Corporate Partnership Program Award, Shuhao Zhang, <laughs> Qian Zheng, the Corporate Partnership Program Award and Governor's Prize, Fang Yi Zhou, <laughs> Simon Smisloni, Daniel Svaro, Tom Bellingham, Computing Masters of Engineering. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Computing. Please join me in a round of applause for the graduates. Bachelors of Engineering, Dyson School of Design Engineering, Thomas Shakespeare. Karen Shams, Zachary Yamioka. Masters of Engineering, Dyson School of Design Engineering, Anna Rolbacke. Anna Bernbrun, Shivam Batnagar, Clarice Brett, Scott Bunting, Serbs Katdvilla Arp, Grace Chin. Francoise Costa Peretti, Felix Crider, Connie Ann Dodgson, Lydia Belen Dines Martinez, Alex Gurley, Benedict Greenberg, Kaisha Viegan, Karolina Yankovic, Ian Kegler, Sarah Kahn, Josephine Latrail. Governor's Prize, Lois Lowe. <laughs> Beatrice Lopez. Sanish Mystery. Jacob Mitchell. Fan Mo. Leah Patterson. Benjamin Pfeiffer. Head of School Prize, Overall Degree, and Institute of Engineering Designers Prize, Paulo Falco Roy. Tessa Jacqueline Smolders, Matilda Supple, Carla Urbano Valero, Christoph Eric Roland van der Flut, Norbert Weasley, Sylvia Zhang, Kenza Zuiten. That now concludes the graduates from the Dyson School of Design Engineering. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. Bachelors of Engineering, Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering, Aswath Balasubramanian, Maria Barokowska, Erk Bayer, Tamara Elmani, Gregory Phil, Class of 1974 Prize and Governor's Prize, Mark Gee, Prasanna Kalanathan, Min J. Kang, Jordi Laguerta Sola, Kai Lawrence, Lee Ji Wee, Kirthanen Ravichandran, David Rovic Aroha, Victor Sanchez, Adhia Suchit, Yi Song, Arthur Stemmer, Wang Lei, Tim Wu, Masters of Engineering, Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering, Mohammed Al-Fati Abdelmajid, 
Mohi Abualam, Abdullahi Noor, Shamim Ahmed, Usman Ahmed, Sophia Ahmed Ashford, Ryan Armitage, James Peter Arnold, Jacopo Bekeli, Shreyas Baga, Balin Barbed Martin, Andre Barrett, Katerina Boscovich, Luca Broly, Luke Bussell, Tsor Thichian, Thomas Karotti, Jacopo Karani, Michal Hadjis, Yi J. Chen, Aphrodite Christodoulou, Thomas Cotton, Pierce DeBasto, Michal Demtchenko, the Greater X Prize, Eugenie Ducoin, <laughs> Wali Baher Elgaresi, Rebecca Elkington, Antonio Enyas. The Electrical Engin and Electronic Engineering Student Centenary Prize, Henry Eshborn. <laughs> Ji-Yu Fang, Martin Ferriank, Benjamin Fletcher, Magson Gao, Alejandro Gilson, Valentin Gourmet, Mohika Gupta, Mustafa Hagras. The Henry, the Ford, Henry Ford II Scholar Award, Alexandros Haliasos, <laughs> Jerome Hallett, Owen Harkin, Coral Hassan, Jan Herklot Drave, Marek Hilton, Karaj Horfath, Paluvi Rishikesh, Monacombo Hussein, Tade Eluromi, Ingrid Jiang, Katie Kaplani, Alex Carrot, Ishmael Ibn Ilyas Karmani, Jacob Kay, the Governor's Prize, Xavier Kearney, <laughs> Fanny Khoury, Benedict Kolbeinson, Erin Koputz, Louis Quay, Ofer Laksani, Dashana Lakshmanan, the Governor's Prize, Marco Lavelle. <laughs> Chao An Li. <laughs> Zi Ting Li. Zhen Yong Li. Yun Kei Leung. Keishin Li. Shu Rei Li. Si Ying Li. Guo Liang Liu. The Either Topper Prize, Delan Liu. <laughs> Zi Han Liu. Jun J. Lu. The Dennis Gabor Prize, Wendy Lu Chen. <laughs> Head of Department's Prize for Best Electronic and Information Engineering Project, Alexander Luisi. <laughs> Wenjia Luo. Christopher Macca. The Dennis Gabor Prize, Sarah Mainiero. <laughs> Elliot Macabu. Divyanch Manoka, Orion Mark Matthews, Abinaya Mathivanehu, Harris Osman Mehmood, Jonathan Mitchell, Tom Harry Edward Miller, Alexander Montgomery Corcoran, Michael Missio, Jin Yi Ern, Konstantinos Nikolaou, Thomas Nugent, Adiljan Nuzipjan, Vincent Wee, George Padley, Pan Zheng Yang, Loisos Papakristoforou, Ji Yong Park, Rajan Patel, Jack Pearson, the Osmani Prize in Microelectronics, Sean Christopher Price, <laughs> Nuncio Pucci, George Punter, Luke Quinlan, Patrick Reich, Alvaro Robledo Vega, Ian Rossock, Sharia Salman, the Willis Jackson Medal and Prize, 
Jorge San Miguel Jimeno. Carmunya Singh. Mariam Safras. Lorenzo Zavestri. The Lee Memorial Prize, Zoe Slattery. Georgia Solidakis. The Siemens Memorial Prize, Paul Strelli. Harshil Sumaria. Cheng Dong Sun. Ushish Sunda. Nicholas Ting. Suraj Tirupati. The Nicholas Battersby Prize, Laura Tucky. <laughs> Ricardo Vera. Alistair Wallace. Xu Wang. Jifan Wang. Daniel Wells. Daniel Williams. Kevin Winson. Omar Wolf Hussein. Clive To Soon Wong. The Eric Lathwaite Prize, Stephen Wong. Zheng Yu Wu, Yao Lei Shu, Pu Yang, Samuel Kai Ern Yang, Heron Zhang, Zhang Yu Wei, Vasil Zlatanov. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Electro Electric and Electronic Engineering. Please join me in a round of applause for the graduates. Bachelors of Engineering, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Shi Hao Douglas Chan, Laura Yao Chen, Justin Go, Michael Hain, Daniel Ku, Edward Lim, Douglas Patterson, Governor's Prize and Outstanding Performance Machine Systems Dynamic Prize, Shu Yu Ming Daryl Pei. Isabel Sway Ray Earn, Lois Maxwell Wright, Masters of Engineering, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Renato Agiamang Dua, <laughs> Khalifu Al Khalifu, Jonathan Alaluf, Abdul Rahman Al Haddad, Mohammed Al Ismail, <coughs> Hassan Amin, <laughs> Usman Amnor. Keshwin Anad, Francesca Aris, Christopher Adga, Morgan Ball, Avera Banerjee, Shibham Batnagar, Shahira Yasmin Gul Vinti Raman Gul, Henry Ford II Scholar Award, Charles Bokes, Fiona Boyce, Harry Brady, Edward Bruin, Oliver Bright, Tim Brown, Angelina Cariolo, Laura Cataneo, Turn E. Chua, Aaron Chung, Hyun Wu Chung, Nicholas Clay, Governor's Prize, Matthew Cocking, <laughs> Damien Coveni, David Coxon, Yasmin Daniels, Michelle O'Dapril, Anve Deitz, Gitan de Lee de Clerc Beaufort, Anthony de Souza, Joseph Dean, Osini de Si, Abindra de Mungo, Aaron Duncan, Angela Sermoginis, John Foden Shroff. <laughs> William Foster, Jack Fraser, Patrick Galinsky, Caleb Goddard, Diljo Graywall, Thomas Hall, Zoe Hall, Ben Joshua Hambrook, Joseph Hansard, Russian Hansler, Dean Harris Snowden, Edward Hazlitt, Andrew Horkin, John He, Owen Heaney, William Hay, 
Matthew Homburg, Mick Humphreys, Omar Imran Azim, Samuel Jonas, Edmund Jones, Peter Kaftan, Hugh Cain, Matt Kettle, Kunal Kura. Aditya Koriala. Louis Hoy Kong. Gino La. Mu Chai Judy Lai. Si Wei Lai. Rachel Lai. Kai Peter Lam. Alex Libro Unov. The Mechanical Engineering Student Centenary Prize, Andrew Law Shiguan. Andrew Lee. Brian Lee Jun Shan. Jin Wook Lee. Ming Zhu Lee. Yi Song Lee. Jun Lee. Kei Chun Yu. Edric Lo. Chris McGowan, Fahun Malik, Thomas Maycock, Harry Mitchell, Stephen Moffat, Philip Mogul, Alec Moore, Charles Morrow, Charlotte Morfitt, Manoj Morali, William Naylor, Alessandra Maria Nilsson Ladner, Jiaming Ning, Aregnis Hajian, Daniel O'Sullivan, Daniel Owens, Arkeen Pryke, Nicholas Philip Perry, Christopher Petri, Mihir Malwani, Loic Pulmark, Institution of Mechanical Engineers Prize, Alvaro Pratt Balash. Raya Ratchakansan, Tushan Ratcharanta, Teresa Ramlal, Hugh Reese, Francois Xavier Richard, Hard Richards, Juan Rodriguez La Casa, George Ruck, Ahmed Afdul Sahi, Teofil Sotri, Raza Zika. Torrance, Terence Shaw, Joseph Shore, Edward Spears, Frederica Spinola, Alex Stevens, Elena Stronach, Arohan Subramanian, James Tan, the Arab Prize for Mechanical Engineering, Nathaniel Tan. Aisha Teo, Samuel Timmers, Da Hui Tu, Sarah Tars, Louis Tran, Melanie Say, Enrique Veina Garcia, Marta Vasks, Ting Li Huang, Jishwan Huang, Eleanor Westhead, Yang Yi Ying, Sichuan Zhang, Rebecca Zhao, Kevin Jung, David MacArthur. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Mechanical Engineering. Please join me in a round of applause for the graduates. the Royal School of Mines and First Degrees of the University, Bachelor of Science, Department of Earth Science and Engineering, Brian Bei Jun Yen, Thomas Berridge, Norzamin Nadira Binti Amin, Nurul Asati Muhammad Kamal, Charles Brame, James Edward John Burtonshaw, 
Yorgos Hygeliocolitos, Jonathan Code, Loic Dacier, George Delaney. The Governor's Prize, Ashling Charlotte Ilse Dunn. <laughs> Neve French, Emily Fryer, David Hillman, Hassanayan Himden, Anna Horseman, Eloise Hunt, Clement Leneve Foster Prize, Carla Hewan, <laughs> Luke Carney, Moritz Lesch, Jonah Francois Lynch, Nurhija Binti Mayudin, Hannah McCann, Katie Sarah Olding, Akil Jaya, Humza Kasbalash, May Randall, Yvonne Riley, Artie Sharma, Karima Sufian, Naomi Tan, Terry Tang, Raj Fiercetti, Jay Yutz, Tiang Song U, Lin Fan, Albert Ziki Zhang, Ziyu Xu, Daniel Kiel, Masters of Science, Department of Earth Science and Engineering, Chloe Adcock, Evelyn Baker, Miranda Burt, Coral Bryan, Edward Court, Lena Chen, Lawrence Childs, Edward Clark, Richard Craig, Snea Desai. The Illing Prize, Luke Marshall Dugici. Juliet Marie Gio de Coberville, Ariana Cuppy. The British Society of Mining Students Prize, Emily Gusterson. Noah Hawkins. Bethany Hebditch. The Warrington Smith Medal and Prize, Rhiannon Jones. The Earth Science and Engineering Student Centenary Prize, and the Ernest Edward Glorney Scholarship in Earth Science and Engineering, Rita Canudas. <laughs> Theo Mandarink, Sam Mitchell, Matthew Morris, Eric Newland, George Nicholas, Rhiannon O'Callaghan, Oliver Parker, Stephen Pugh, Catherine Rhodes, Rajbir Sandu, the Governor's Prize, William Scott, Robert Shaw, Jim Stringer, Tan Yun Chow, Jay Ward, Naila Wenk, Rebecca Andrew, Avni Patel, Jess Lynn Lowe. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Earth Science and Engineering. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. <laughs> Bachelors of Engineering, Department of Materials, Muhammad Farhan Bilt Abdul Rahman, Sam Burdett, George Alexander Spencer Grant, Matthew Guy, Maud Haziza. James Hendry, Fifi Stacey Henry, Heidi Hollister, Jun Ji Lee, Shei Sri Lim, Xu Yai Hong Thin, Ernest Lowe, Benjamin Mann, Edward Martin, Helen Money Curl, Benjamin Nicholas, Hamdi Rama, Joshua Sims, <laughs> Ibrahim Steele, Puvendran Subramanian, Jing Sun, Kevin Ariti Mita Tayonda, Sirupak Toiting, Hianying Wang, Ruo Shen Shao, Ray Zeng, Jiyum Zutalif Trump, Hanwen Jin, 
Masters of Engineering, Department of Materials. Hideyuki Adachi. Marcus Anagarn. Will Atkinson. Amant Azadine. <laughs> Daiwan Bay. Catherine Bailey. Tadishu Balcharowski. Carmen Barragan Cern. Xander Francois Joseph Bastin. Peter Pratt Memorial Prize, Avery Chan. <laughs> Chung Pat Yu Spencer. Vincent Chung. Saul Coleman. Alexander Kahn. Dominic De Silva. Isabella Fernandez of Shianka. Ruby Freeman. Lawrence Good. David Song Hao Gu. Yin Long Huang. Jim D. Igwe. Ten Wei Jun. Yan K. Ki. Yong Un King. The Material Student Centenary Prize, Sasha Pan Kolacek. <laughs> Alexander Koshuk. Tanachurt Kujari Vanid. The Institute of Materials Prize, Simram Kukran. <laughs> Haley Lee. Kehishto Loti. Kailan Lu. Charlotte Manchet, Enrico Manfredi Haylock, Dominic Melvin, Camilla Marigi, Tepe, Tepelo Mosadigo, the Charles Salter Prize, Max Moyle, Ian Nachemson, Su Si Ong, Alessandro Parasotto, Henry Payne, Pijo May, Alessandro Prevero, Luigi Rano, Luke Savin, Yu Jung Sin, James Soraya, Abigail Yuxin To, the AG Charlton Institution of Mining and Metallurgy Prize, Kalpusin Yaning Tong, <laughs> Nicholas Mark Twyman. Daniel Vianiak, Maxim Vries Wicht, Huang Yu Sen, Tizhu Huang, Florence Lok Ching Wu, Kao Mu Yao, Wen Hao Yu, Liam Yasin. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Materials and the Faculty of Engineering. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates.
It's my honour to now announce the winner of the Outstanding Student Achievement Award, Mr. Haroon Shams. As co-founder of Imperial's first ever machine learning society, Mr. Haroon Shams has shown an astounding commitment and drive to making Imperial a leader in the field of AI. In recent years, the field of machine learning has rapidly risen from obscurity into the spotlight of academia and industry. Mr. Shams noticed a lack of resources in AI-related activities within the college and took great initiative in launching a society to resolve this. Within a few months, the Machine Learning Society had registered over 800 members from students and staff, making it one of the largest societies at Imperial. Through a resourceful approach to building tutorials, a commitment to hosting inspirational events, and an aspiration to increasing skills, Mr. Shams has built collaborations within and beyond the college. He's managed all this while progressing in his own studies within the Dyson School of Design Engineering. There's no doubt that Mr. Shams' highly successful initiatives and activities have brought significant credit to the college and will enable it to grow its impact in this increasingly important field. I therefore invite you, President, to award Mr. Haroon Shams an Outstanding Student Achievement Award in recognition of his wonderful contribution to Imperial College London. Presentation of the Imperial College Medal. If I could invite Professor Peter Chung to stand there. Over the past 38 years, Professor Peter Chung has made an exceptional and long standing impact on education, research, and leadership at the college. He is one of the Faculty of Engineering's most outstanding educators, consistently achieving the highest student feedback scores. He has served as deputy head and then head of the Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering, during which time he fostered a culture of commitment to education and a collegiate atmosphere that has encouraged world-class scholarship and collaboration. While serving as Vice Dean for Education in the Faculty of Engineering, he created new modules for the newly founded Dyson School of Design Engineering, which received outstanding feedback. His efforts do not only contribute to raising the quality of education for his students, many of whom have made significant contributions to the field, but have inspired other members of staff to strive for excellence in their own teaching. All of this has been achieved by Professor Chung, whilst also establishing himself as one of the world's leading authorities in field programmable gate arrays and reconfigurable systems. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted to you, by the Council to award Professor Peter Chung an Imperial College Medal in recognition of the exceptional contribution he has made to the life and work of Imperial College London. So, I can invite Jeff McGee to stand forward. Professor Jeff McGee's career at Imperial College London has seen him progress from a postgraduate student through his PhD to lecturer, professor, and head of the Department of Computing. He then went on to become Dean of the Faculty of Engineering from 2011 to 2017. This reflects the impressive academic and leadership skills that Professor McGee brings to the college. Under his leadership, the faculty went from strength to strength with all departments ranked in the top three nationally in the last research evaluation framework. Professor McGee has also championed and guided major developments in the Faculty of Engineering, which have revamped both college facilities and approaches to teaching. 
the refurbishment of the City and Guilds building, the creation of the new Dyson School of Design Engineering, and the initiation of the Sir Michael Urin Biomedical Engineering Research Hub at the White City campus have all been transformative to the experiences of both staff and students. Meanwhile, Professor McGee's research on the software engineering of distributed systems and his extensive collaborations and engagement with industry have set an impressive standard for his peers across the college. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by the Council, to award Professor Jeff McGee an Imperial College Medal in recognition of the exceptional contribution he has made to the life and work of Imperial College London. We're delighted to honour Mr. Malcolm Aldridge for his dedicated service to Imperial College London across nearly four decades. In his role as financial controller, Mr. Aldridge made an invaluable impact on our core systems, processes and policies to ensure that we are always financially robust and resilient. Alongside his exceptional financial management of payroll, accounts payable, grants and treasury management, Mr. Aldridge has made significant contributions beyond what he has called the nitty-gritty function of his role. His creation of the college's accountancy training program has enabled his staff to develop their skills and careers while ensuring that the college can recruit the very best. It is now fully supported by all professional accounting bodies. His impact has been made outside college, too. He took the lead in developing a citywide consortium for university insurance, which makes sure that all London universities are properly protected against risk whilst delivering value for money. Mr. Aldridge retired recently, but his commitment to the college continues as he offers support and assistance whenever called upon. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by Council, to award Mr. Malcolm Aldridge an Imperial College Medal in recognition of the exceptional contribution he has made to the life and work of Imperial College London. Since 2011, European Engineering Chambers has successfully managed a complex and challenging nuclear program in a pragmatic and professional manner, acknowledged by the Nuclear Decommissioning Authority as the most successful decommissioning program currently taking place in the UK. His realistic, flexible approach has been a significant contributor to current projections that the project will be completed significantly earlier and under budget than expected. In addition to his very successful management of the decommissioning program, European Engineer Chamber's wider vision has enabled him to connect to the college's wider vision of inclusion. He has involved the Silwood campus in the decommissioning project, provided considerable support to the college's nuclear MSC program and engaged outreach with the community through visits and education programs at the Reactor Center. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by the Council, to award the European engineer Trevor Chambers an Imperial College Medal in recognition of the exceptional contribution he has made to the life and work of Imperial College London.
Throughout decades of committed service, Dr. John Schmellett has implemented vital and innovative in, in, information technologies that have enabled the college to deliver its education and research missions. Since he joined Imperial in the 1980s, the responsibility of the information and communication technology services has grown threefold, and they command a far wider remit in facilitating communication for all staff and students. Such an enormous amount of change has required clear leadership and rich experience. Dr. Schemelt has combined this with a thorough understanding of the student journey and the needs of our academic community. His love of finding solutions to challenging technical issues alongside his broad ranging skill set have allowed the college to benefit from the technology that has often been a world first. Dr. Schemelt has provided an exemplary and loyal service to the generations of college students, staff, and external collaborators, from the Science Museum to the Royal Society. While being an enthusiastic technologist, John has never lost interest in developing the people around him. His patience and willingness to help his colleagues marked his leadership style. On his retirement last year, his contribution was warmly celebrated by colleagues past and present. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by the Council, to award Dr. John Schemelt an Imperial College Medal in recognition of the exceptional contribution he has made to the life and work of Imperial College London. Now the presentation of the honorary graduate. Dr. Ian Schott is one of the UK's most successful entrepreneurs and business leaders in pharmaceuticals and the life sciences. For over 20 years, he has excelled in leadership roles at numerous global multinational businesses in the international life science industry. In all these roles, he has created successful strategies that developed a steep change in their growth. He found Excelsin in 2004 and went on to set up Arkinova, where he is now Executive Chairman and Chief Executive Officer. Dr. Schott's expertise is in demand beyond the business world. He was on the board of Innovate UK for six years, where he chaired the Catapult Committee. He founded and chaired the UK's Industrial Biotechnology Leadership Forum. In 2013, he helped form the Chemistry Growth Partnership with the UK Government and was appointed a Specialist Advisor to the House of Lords Select Committee on Science and Technology. Perhaps most importantly, he has helped 87 startups to generate almost 500 jobs, going on to raise over £100 million in follow-up investment. While leading at the forefront of the UK's biosciences revolution, Dr. Schott brings his influential strategic skills to Imperial College London. Since 2013, he has been an energetic chair of the college's Chemical Engineering Strategic Advisory Board and a valued advisor to the Center for Process Systems Engineering. Among his many honors, Dr. Schott has been elected a Fellow of the Royal Academy of Engineering, the Royal Society of Chemistry, and the Institution of Chemical Engineers. And in 2009, he was honored with a CBE for services to chemical engineering. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by Council, to award Dr. Ian Schott an honorary degree of Doctor of Science in recognition of his contribution to the field of chemical engineering.
President, members of court and council, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. When I was appointed chair of council, I became the first chair to have also been an alumnus of the college. And so, although it was over 40 years ago, I know what it feels like to occupy the other part on this stage. I've stood here as a graduating student, as you have today, with my family proudly sitting in the audience, just as are many of yours today. Now, I'm not a huge fan of league tables, but whatever measure you go by, Imperial College is a very special place. The Times Higher Education Rankings puts us as third highest in Europe, and we are consistently in the top 10 in the world. Only around 6% of the world's population hold a degree at all, let alone from a top university. So always remember how special you are. Today is not the end of your journeys, but the beginning of new chapters. You will have many opportunities to come, and I wish you every success in harnessing them. Now, it's my responsibility to bring these proceedings to a close, and in doing so, I'd like to thank those responsible for the success of today's ceremony. So firstly, without trying to name any of them individually, please could you join me in thanking all of those who've worked so hard to plan and organize the ceremony. Thank you. Secondly, I'd like to thank Oliver Gooch and the wonderful musicians and Colin Durrant and the choir who've performed for us throughout the ceremony. Thank you very much. Now, of course, it's your day, your achievement, but sitting behind me is a colourful array of people who've helped and guided you, and they've been joined by many other professors, teachers, technicians and support staff, all of whom have helped you along the way. So I'd ask you, please, to thank your teachers and all the staff at Imperial who've helped you in your journey. But, but really, today is about you graduates. It's your drive and enthusiasm that makes Imperial such an exciting and vibrant place. So we want to thank you graduates and celebrate your achievements. And although this is the end of the ceremony, it's certainly not farewell. You're now part of a worldwide network of Imperial alumni. We will be here for you and will be pleased to help you as you go on to have probably stellar careers. And I dare say it, at some point in the future, we may well look to you for help too. We're proud of what you've achieved and we'll be proud of what you go on to achieve, so please do stay in touch as members of the Imperial family. Now, on these occasions, it's always seemed to me that the applause is very polite. Perhaps it's the formality of the occasion. I do have to admit that you engineers have done best so far, but I know you can do even better still. So very finally, I'd like to invite you graduates to thank your most important supporters, your mothers, your fathers, your brothers, your sisters, your children and your friends who've been there when you've needed them. So please could you stand and thank your supporters. <laughs> 